I always assumed that my hero, Eric Laithwaite, the engineer and scientist, was excluded from the physics community because what he said about Isaac Newton, gravity and centrifugal force on a BBC Royal Society Christmas lecture to children. Let me read you now what this viewer sent me and you can make up your mind. Eric Laithwaite, not so crazy after all. Uh, he never was crazy. It is now nearly 10 years since Henry Wallace, Henry Wallace, American inventor, was granted a pair of patents on what was initially written off as a crazy science fiction notion, a machine to generate anti-gravity. It goes on to say, in the last 10 years, Professor Eric Laithwaite of Imperial College London has achieved both fame and notoriety, sadly, by arriving independently at a similar theory of anti-gravity. According to Wallace's patents, bodies made of carefully chosen materials generate an energy field when placed in rapid relative motion. This field is not electromagnetic and was christened by the inventor a kinematic force field. Wallace and Laithwaite stated that if this kinematic field is made to undulate... Now remember, Eric Laithwaite is the father of undulating river of electromagnetic force called the linear motor. So Eric knows what he's talking about. So if it's made to undulate, a secondary gravitational field is produced, which can neutralize gravity. Okay. All right. So there's a lot going on here, Eric. I'll include the link to this whole article in the video description. It goes on to describe how it might work using centrifugal force that Eric Lathwaite knows a lot about. And it ends by saying this, although Wallace's patents were initially ignored as cranky, observers believe that Wallace's invention is now under serious investigation by the military authorities, both in the UK and the USA. Ah, and possibly the military regret that the patents are in the public domain for anyone to read. So, was Eric Lathwaite secretly working on an anti-gravity centrifugal device with a colleague from the USA? And did the established science community of the Royal Society and British scientists exclude him because they thought anti-gravity was bollocks. But in fact, today, the spin of near-field subatomic particles has now gained traction and might well be on its way in the public domain to produce anti-gravity effects for the good of humanity. But in a secret and darker reality, has our military produced a gravity shielding device, a mechanism that might be able to reproduce the five observable effects of possible ET's UFOs. I think the truth has just got a bit closer. <laughs>